Crawford County is a very agri-centric county. There's a lot of farming in Crawford County, a lot of community support with helping farmers continue to operate day to day and season to season, and I wouldn't want to do it anywhere else. Crawford County is kind of like the land of milk and honey, and that's what I always tell people. We have so much available to us here as far as food-wise, that's kind of my jam is food. What I like about being a business owner in Crawford County is that the support system I have has been second to none. The customers of the flower barn are definitely people who have uh, flower fever, <laughs> for sure, on the greenhouse aspect. The fresh cut flower part of it is people that are needing things for like birthdays or holidays, sympathy pieces for funerals. It's a, just a way to show people they care. The Farm Bureau is a grassroots organization. It's a great organization to be a part of, whether it's getting your voice out in agriculture or talking to local or state level or even federal level lawmakers about issues with agriculture. Food security is important in Crawford County and all counties, all areas across the nation because when you build your local food system, that money stays here and typically your local food producers are using local businesses to supply their business with what they need. I chose to open my business up in Crawford County because this is where I grew up. My home roots are here. I really wanted to stay local and have something like this for people around us. Here at Russman Farms, there's a wide variety of job titles and roles that need to be filled. We hire an IT person. We hire someone that schedules all of our beef and pork to be processed. We do hire people to come here and learn and grow and hopefully prepare them for future jobs when they're adults. But I know on other farms, they will hire machine operators, equipment operators, truck drivers. In the ag industry, it's more than just farming. There's, there's seed dealers, there's chemical dealers, there's equipment dealers and mechanics, custom applicators. We work very closely with our agronomists to get advice on seed, chemical, and fertilizer recommendations. We are very complex. We are very educated. It is no longer your great grandpa's farm. It is a business and you have to market your crop. You have to plan for the next year when you're still, you know, a year or two behind. It's not just turning wrenches and, and driving tractors. There's, there's a lot of different technology in the tractors and to fix tractors. Uh, there, there's a lot of different routes you can go within agriculture and within the county. It's such a wide variety of opportunity around here. I love it.